Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for watching uh, my previous videos and for everyone that has liked them. Um, today I wanted to show you how you can get your own custom uh, pen colors, uh, whatever you are, highlight colors in GoodNotes. So I'm going to quickly show you what mine kind of looks like. I just found this out and just started adding my own. So if you see down here, I have my color, uh, my pens actually open. And I did find out that you can change your ballpoint pen to a fountain pen and vice versa. Uh, first to do that, you click on your little um, gear up at the top of it and then you can click on pen style. And then it has a choice between a fountain pen and a ballpoint pen. Um, so you can just pick whatever one you want if you guys didn't know how to change those. And I am hoping maybe they add more pen styles in later on, but for now this is just what they have. Um, and then the second row that you see, and then the third row of colors that you see, I did add those in by adding a code into my iPad. And it's actually very simple to do. So first, what you're going to want to do, I am going to get out of this first. You're going to want to get a app called Palettes Pro. And there is a pro version, which is like $3.99, which is still not bad at all for, you know, what you're going to be using it for, I guess. Um, but I just got the free version and uh it's just saying that i have three more trials of the pro version before it goes to like the very basic version of it um but anyway so this is what it's going to actually look like and i did make a um like pink category already there was some already in here the default autumn and uh, ocean colors that you see over here on the palettes list those were kind those were already in there and I did make the purple and the pink ones um, so what you're going to do is when you first open it up it's going to look very plain you'll see the default autumn and ocean on the palettes list over here and then the the middle where it's showing all the colors will actually be these little blank colored ones and then on the color chooser, you will see different um, icons and stuff that you can mess with. But I don't really mess with them too much. Um, so what I like to do is just start out by choosing um, like a color that I'm going for. So let's say I want to do a very dark blue color. So you can see at the very top where it says color. Um, that it's changing like different colors and you can keep scrolling with these three uh, Three bars up here to kind of find the color that you're looking for So let's just say I wanted to do a dark blue one and what you're going to do is I have this on my iPhone so it's a lot easier for me to work with when I'm trying to do add the colors in on my iPad so I don't have to add in the photo or a screenshot or anything like that if that makes sense whatsoever um, but we're going to have to do it this way so you guys can see what I am talking about but if you have it on your phone you can easily just be in your good notes or you could um, maybe do the um, screen or split screen or whatever you want to call it so let's see if we can do that um okay so let's see uh, well it'll probably just be easier to do it this way so let's just say i like that color of blue so what i'm going to do is actually just take a screenshot um of this and what you're going to have to have is you see the different uh, choices right below the color you need to have it on this RGB and then you will also need it to be on you see these um, where it says red blue green and then below that is like 255 hex presets and stuff like that um, what you're going to have to have the number is from the hex so these three numbers that you or where it says red green and blue you're going to have to have those numbers to be able to input it into your good notes 
So I am going to take a screenshot of that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my good notes. And this was just a uh, page that I was just messing with. And I actually really like this uh, that so much that I actually made it in my background. Um, so what I'm going to do is just, just so I can have the image with the numbers, I'm just going to add uh, the screenshot that I just took into here. And you can crop it if you want to, if you don't want none all this other stuff in there. All you need is just the numbers. So like that. So now what you can do is um, go to your, you can either do it as your actual pen color or you can do it as a highlighter color. Um, but I'm just going to do it as my pen color. So I'm going to click on my pen. And then at the top where you see where it says fountain, you're going to click on edit. And then you will see a little plus, a faint plus add, um, add to it. You're going to click on that. And then at the top, you're going to see the three little dots at the top of the pen color chooser. You're going to click on that and add or enter color. And this is where you're going to need your um, numbers down here at the bottom. So you may have to move. Um, so let's see if I can move this out of the way a little bit. Just so I can see my numbers. Maybe that'll work right there. That's why I'm saying if you have an iPhone um, or another iPad that you can use, or maybe you can even find a color palette that has all the numbers, um, maybe online somewhere, it would be a lot easier instead of having to do the screenshot like I am doing right now. But this is just to show you how I can get it um, on here. So, and hi Tam, I just seen your message. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to click on my pin again, edit, I'm going to tap on my plus, and then I'm going to tap on the three dots at the top and enter color. Um, and I remember, see this is why it's a little confusing because I'm having to uh, move this around so I can see the uh, numbers. So maybe this will work. So same thing, edit plus uh, enter color. Now I remember the first two was zero zero, and then the next two is zero zero, and then for your blue is three four. Some of them will have letters and numbers, so just be aware of that. And then you hit enter. And then down here, you see where right beside the pink, it added the dark blue color. So that is kind of how you add in your own custom colors. And with this app, the Palettes Pro, you can pretty much make any color you can possibly think of. Um, I'm going to show you with the highlighter, same thing. Um, you can do either custom or presets, which I like doing because, you know, they're already there. So you hit edit, plus, and then your three dots at the top, enter color, and then, like I said, I remember the first two was already zero, zero. The next two numbers for green is zero, zero. And then the last two numbers for blue is three, four. And then enter. And then you see down here, which is, not exactly the same color, but it's really close because this is, you know, a highlighter color. Um, so you click on that. Whoops. Oops. Click done. Click on that. And now you can see here is your highlighter color. I, uh, I probably would never use that color, but anyways, you get the idea of, of it. So that is how you can add in your own custom colors and, um, I hope you guys like this video and I hope it helps and thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!